Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to do Gun Hundy Blood for Blood, issue number four by Titan Comics, Hard Case Crime. Uh, yes, this is the last one uh, of the series uh, with cover by Souza Maika. Looks gorgeous. Uh, I like the series very much. And this is the conclusion of the Blood for Blood saga. We're going to dive in right now. It's been um, made by Charles Arde and artist Ang Hor Ken. I'm saying that correctly. So, um, again, I'm not going to explain everything because I made free reviews. I urge you to check it out if you want to follow it. Um, so, this is Bert. Bert is, you know, let's say, part of uh, a... What's the word I'm looking for? He did some shady things. And, and, you know, like I said, check my other review and leave comments, subscribe and all that jazz. Anyway, so we here at, I don't know, Caesar's Palace or something. That's how I call it. Um, and there we have some showgirls, right? And they are going to perform. And there's a lot of people watching. And um, But there's also, you know, one of the women that wants to kill birds for reasons. And uh, so this is happening. Now she's coming forward because they are diving into the water one by one. And um, she wants to shoot them. But then she's get also shot by uh, by our heroine. If that's how you say it. Um, why am I... Oh, yeah, Joanna Tan. Why am I forgetting? Mm. Oh, by the way, I try to avoid uh, nudity here, but at some point, I, it's, yeah, it's it's hard. Well, it's not hard, but then I have to skip over certain things. Uh, so probably, yeah, I'm going to get struck or demon... Well, not going to demonetize because I'm not verified. <laughs> anyway, um, this is a little bit ridiculous, you know, getting kicked and, you know, punched in the face and on the water because that's hard. There's no momentum there. Anyway, so... Um, She's taking off, and uh, I have to be careful. Yeah, I okay, I'll skip this one, um, because here is some gracious nudity in here. And um, I, f why am I forgetting her name? Wait a minute. Philippa Sterling, yeah. So Philippa Sterling says, you want Bird, you know, Bird wants you dead. The man you just saved, he'll pay me to do it. And then... Um, then she noticed something. She has a tattoo and um, she can decipher it. It's Morse code and you were Lydia Morse, little bitch. Now, who's Lydia Morse? Uh, she was part of the um, interrogation team or, you know, head of the pol a certain police department or something. And um, she was her protege and uh, somebody killed her. And the one who killed her was... Um, Jesus Christ, me and my names. I just I just said it. Uh, Joanna's brother. God. <laughs> uh, it was Joanna's brother. So there's a lot of, you know, interconnection with the other books, uh, which I highly recommend, by the way. And she just wants revenge on her and other ones that did her wrong. And uh, you say, yes, you don't get to say her name. You don't get to say anything ever again. But then she's getting, you know, this needle... In her with uh, some ex whoa experimental fluids. This is exactly that I didn't want to show you. And uh, then we're going back to Brooke. I believe this name is Brooke. And uh, he's been interrogated because he's been, through the cameras, he's been found guilty of, how do you say, murdering, you know, Bert's associate. But that's not how it went down. So um, so he's basically getting framed here. And um, so this guy says, do you have any idea how many violations we have on you? Uh, so Brooke says, it was a sanctional internal affairs investigation. You killed the subject of a federal manhunt by injecting him with an illegal drug. Philippa Sterling killed him, shot him in the front of me. The drug was pal palliative. Is that how you say it this year? He begged me for it. Yeah. In the last one, he asked him, hey, give me some bliss before I go to heaven or hell. And that's what uh, Brooke did. But then somehow the camera feed uh, saw the wrong thing. Um, so he says, uh, so they are having a back and forth, you know. Um, 
He says this was a victim by frame-up by Philippa Sterling. Yes, you said it 50 times. What is it with you and her? Did she refuse to sleep with you or something? So they're having a, some kind of a weird interrogation here going. And then he says, I want to talk to my lawyer. I am a lawyer. One of representing me. Well, that might be an option, agent, if you hadn't signed away your right to counsel when you joined this department. No one can sign away their constitutional rights. I'm sure Aklu... I do not know what it is, but probably some kind of American legal system thing would agree with you. Shame they aren't here. Now, I like this particular shot here because um, basically it's a lot more like a clash of personalities. And um, this was also done a lot in the 70s and 80s comics. So <laughs> seeing this here brings me a little bit back. So it's pretty cool. The art, of course, is still phenomenal, uh, in my opinion. And the colors is nice, too. I also love there is a, a, a lot of detailed background and there's also not too many close-up shots like in other comics they let the art breathe i really I really enjoy that so brooke says listen to me officer gorman philippa sterling is on the loose somewhere carrying out a vendetta against anyone she blames for lydia morris murder that's the old woman from the uh, volume one which apparently includes me this known criminal you're asking about is the only one with any chance of stopping her before more people die. I think you want to know about that. Ah, I would very much. Starting with where I might find her. So, um, without any, you know, I wanted to go back and show you what happened. So, uh, Joanna just, you know, injected her with that experiment uh, drug. And then the, the goons of... Uh, the other guy come in and they are they're taking her away, right? And uh, so they are here with Bert, and she says, uh, and he says, what, 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 what was that you injected her with? Your partner, call it MCQ, said he was going to tell you he fixed it. Yes. So the the one that has you know been dead, you know, uh, Philip had just killed him. Uh, he was in cahoots with uh, with this guy. And now he's dead. He says, really, huh? He worked on it for so long. His life works, really. He's dead. She killed him. I know. She tried to kill you, too. She said it was you and that you killed my Ella. That's his daughter, by the way. So she comes around a little bit here. And uh, she blames you and Ernie for her parents' death and me for her mentors. That may be, but it doesn't mean you didn't kill my daughter. What if you did? You were... You were both there, both in the gym. My security team found footage of both of you. And she said, Philippa says, she did it. I told you. Maybe, maybe it doesn't matter. Neither of you will be uh, a big loss to the world. Okay, now it's getting more exciting. So Philippa says, you think you have us at your mercy, do you? Well, don't I? You're a terrible chess player. You put me in the room with two of the three people I hate most in the world. You make it clear you're going to kill me. You tell me what's my move. And then uh, Joanna Tan realizes what's going on because there's a suitcase here. And she's, you know, trying to make herself free from these chains. And then this is happening. She says checkmate. And then the suitcase explodes because probably she is, you know, putting a bomb into it or something. I'm not entirely sure. And this looks really, really freaking cool. Well, Joanna just protects herself. Not only that, this looks cool. The following page looks cool too. Now look at this, you know, this great wide shot with all these details and things are burning and this, this you know, this, this bodies everywhere, debris everywhere. And uh, yeah, so Philippa is done for and she spits Joanna in the face and she says, what is your next move now? I already made it. Ask your boyfriend. And then she dies. Which was a shame. I mean, I like Philippa. She was, a, she was a cool antagonist. Anyway, so this guy comes in and he says, Mr. Gian Caruso. And, uh, Phil, and Joanna says, get on your knees or I'll pull the trigger. Why did you have to kill him? <laughs> so <laughs> he's crying. She said, if you are following me, I'm going to kill you. And then she escapes in this car. Um, but then we go see a little bit behind the scenes what happened with Brooke. So this guy says, he's not talking. Either he doesn't know or he's just too loyal to her. Have you got what you need to close out the file? I've got enough. 
Good, you're transferring him today, this morning. Fine, fine. It'll be sorry. It'll be very sorry to hear about this unfortunate suicide. All right, they want to get rid of him. And hey, look at this Morse code. Hmm. Wonder what that means. Yeah, there's more going on than we think. Um. So yeah, Brooks uh, is is you know getting getting taken away. And I must say, look at this car, man. Look at this how well done it 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 it's you know by the artist. So many details. It looks pretty realistic. Very nice. And he says, "What are you taking? Where are you taking me? What difference does it make? Just sit back and enjoy the ride." But then he sees here something carved. Uh, I'm not sure. F Y I in lower. Flying lower. I'm not entirely sure uh, what it, what it really says here. Anyway, so it seems there is a gun because that is Joanna's mo. So this guy wants to pull is pulling the trigger, but then he's too late and Brooks killed him. And he says, uh, forgive me, father. And just look at this shot, man. This looks fantastic. How did Joanna plant that gun here before you? Uh, I'm sorry. How did Joanna plant that gun here there for you? Some have to ask. You have to ask her sometime if you live long enough. All right. Yeah. So it believed that Joanna did some digging and researching. But then, oh, no, Joanna is already here and she's driving this thing. And she says, pull over, driver. I don't want to shoot you. Well, good. I gave you, the, I gave you the one bullet anyway. Why? Why did you give him one bullet? I mean, why? So she's driving. So if he is, he didn't pick up this gun and killed him. He would be dead right now. So that's just, that's a big risk to take, Joanna. So um, so he asked how it went, and she says Philica's dead. Blew up herself up. Unfortunately, there's more where she came from. Your operations crawling with Lydia's soldiers. Apparently, they're going uh, to come after us both. And um, I know places they won't find. Um, she, she says, you're coming? And then um, the end here is this. What, on the run like a fugitive? It's not a bad life. Joanna, I'm a federal agent, a cop. Not anymore. And the car's blown up. And Joanna says, you don't win by playing their game, Brooke. You win by making them play yours. And what exactly are the rules of the game of yours? No rules, baby. Just hang on tight. And that's the end of the book. For now. Yes, guys. There's going to be another gun, honey. To my very pleasant surprise. I'm, I'm very ecstatic because I love this series so much. And you know what? There is the same team is continuing this book. Damn, I'm so happy. If these are covers, look at this, man. These are gorgeous covers, right? So the next uh, volume, volume three, I guess, Gun Honey, Blood for Blood. And the next one will be Gun Honey Collision Course. That's going to be in, you know, summer 2023. So pretty soon. I can't wait. I really can. So and we have some covers here from this book. Um, this is also a very nice cover. Look at this. Wow, fantastic. Yeah, I uh, give this um, series a big thumbs up. Like I said, no, normally I would, you know, um, promote comics. But there's a, a couple of them that I said, this is definitely you, you need to buy. If you like mature, uh, good art, good writing, um, you know, everything is it's just good. Uh, it's gone, honey. Pick up volume one and two, guys. You won't regret it. Guys, this uh, this was it for the video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.